Hey guys and welcome back to our channel, my name is Safe and today I'm gonna show you how you can use Zoho Work Drive. So let's get started. Now let's just press and access Zoho Work Drive. Then um, let's press on this first option. Team name, let's say tutorial. I think it cannot be changed so let's just press on create team. And here we are. Now let's just cancel this one. And here is your workspace. So now let's navigate to recent files. These are files that Zoho um, arranged uh, prior to your sign-in just to try the features of the website on it. So they are not created by us, it's created by Zoho. So let's choose any one of them. For example, this one. And here is your file. So our main interest in this tutorial is to access this top menu and know what it contains. First, here is the share button. You can share this document with your members. You can add your members or you can set an external share link so that you can share the document with people outside work drive. Next is the open with. So uh, basically uh, Zoho uh, prefer to open these files with Zoho application However, you can use a desktop tab to open them. Here you can copy the link to this document and you can share it with other parties. And here you can download this file. Now let's go to more actions because it contains so much actions to contain, uh, to, to talk about. So let's speak about them one by one. First here you can open this file in new tab. This is uh, self-explanatory. Next, you can access the properties of the document. Here you will find four tabs, the general info, which contains all the information about your document, the versions, you will not find so much in info about this. It just shows you what is the version that Zoho uses to open this document. You can also see the activity, which is pretty important if you are working with other people, because it shows you what happened on this document since it has been created. So you can literally see every single action from here you can see and verify your the activity of your employees on this document so if there is a sensitive document and you want to uh, control who can see it you can check from the activity and check that no strangers or no one outside your organization has checked this document you can also make sure that the, the employees who are uh, assigned to check uh, this document has have already checked it Next is the access state stats, which shows you the permalink that you can use to share this document with other people. It also shows you how many views and downloads this document has undergone. So this is basically the properties. Let's just cancel this and see the other action, which is new embedded code. Here you can copy this embedded code and share it so that this file is opened in a web page. Next is the new download link. Here you can set a, a download link which expires as a result of a specific time of downloads or specific date. So here you can name your link. Here you can set download limits. So let's say after five downloads, this link will expire. You can also set expiration by setting a specific date after which this document is no longer available. Next action is share to support, which is really amazing because sharing to support means that the support has no accessibility on your documents. So if you have any sensitive documents, even the support will not be able to see it unless you give the command for the support to see it from here. You can also add a comment from here. Next action is upload new version. Here you can um, add your notes, you can upload a new version from here. You can choose the file from your own desktop. So now let's cancel this.
you can also choose checkout in checkout uh, it, uh, this shows that this means that you can cancel all the permissions of other parties to this document so if i press on check out check out all the other accounts who can edit and and view this document will no longer be able to do so and i will be the only one who is who is who can have the authority to change in this document and edit on it now let's press on cancel next is follow updates here you can set up all what is uh, related to the notifications which you receive so so whenever any edit or anything happened to your document you can choose the notification preference so you can receive this bill notification you can receive email notification and you can you can receive both so let's cancel and move to the next action which is add to favorites this makes it easier for you uh, to return back and re-edit on this document because it will always uh, be available on the stored or the saved or the favorite documents so uh, it will be easier than navigating through hundreds of documents to reach it because it will be saved in a specific place you can also remove it from favorites from here next is label you can create a, an, your own label from here you can for example place a, a, a red uh, label and uh, write uh, high priority like that and this will help you to um, re-identify and re and classify your documents based on some features like priority like uh, if they are assigned to you or to any other party you can all also filter and sort by them so they are very effective method to uh, label and tag your files next is to copy to these four next uh, or five next are basic so basic control or actions uh, they are available in most of uh, websites you can copy this document you can rename it you can move it to a specific place you can compress it into a zip file and you can move it to trash which means you will delete it so basically these five are self-explanatory and they do not require much of uh, explanation so this is basically how you can manipulate and control your uh, files in zoho work drive so that's it for this video guys this is how you can use zoho work drive it's pretty much straightforward and self-explanatory. Hope you guys learned from this quick tutorial. If you like this video, press on like, then subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos. Until then, take care and goodbye.